So your boy has caught the infamous shadow ban or temporary ban on Black Ops 6. Unfortunately, this is an epidemic right now because you're seeing COD pros, CDL pros with like white listed accounts get banned and all it takes to get banned in Black Ops 6 is get reported enough, simple. So like they don't necessarily know if you're cheating or not, but like they assume because you're crapping on them, you are cheating which like i said it's an epidemic right now you're seeing so many people get banned i woke up this morning i had just gotten my nuke with the aims right i had just had the aims or aimes i forget what it's called assault rifle got my nuke was super pumped right super super pumped I'm like, i got my first nuke went to bed edited my video posted it whatever woke up this morning to get on and level up some weapons and man, it just hit me with the temporary ban screen. And guess what? It's not just a little temporary ban. It is for 30 days. I have a 719 hour temporary temporary ban. So not only does that mean I can't play Black Ops 6, I also, I also can't play Modern Warfare 3. So it's just tragic stuff happening right now. I was having a ton of fun on Black Ops 6. I wasn't even getting nukes and stuff every game. You know what I mean? In fact, I only have one nuke. I have one nuke to my name. That's it. One nuke. I've been getting crapped on. I've been having games where I've been performing well. It's been a little bit of everything. And I just can't comprehend how they feel like that system is appropriate. So I can play. I can play Cold War and that's why I'm playing it because it's the only freaking game I can play right now. I don't, I'm not trying to play Modern Warfare 2. I'm not trying to play Vanguard. Just Cold War, I guess, is just like, I was in such a mood to play Black Ops 6. I was in such a mood to vibe out with the homies. Like I've been chilling in Discord more than I have in a long time. Like it's been a long time since I've hung out with Discord with my friends and just played and have fun. And it's just so tragic, man right now is just so tragic the good news is is i have gotten in contact with like the uh creator relations or whatever you want to call them for activision and they're working on it they have my activision id they're in the process of trying to get me unbanned because like i said it is temporary come on with this there's gotta be they gotta know there's a the system's flawed they gotta know they gotta know that that system is clearly flawed like i see cheaters on tiktok right there's cheaters on tiktok blatantly cheating and they're not catching bans but all it takes is for you to report someone like 10 times and they get the shadow ban it just doesn't i can't mentally comprehend how that's a thing the good news is is i do enjoy cold war so i mean i'm not extremely upset that i'm playing i haven't posted a cold war video on my channel in a long time it's been a long time So we're getting back to basics here. This is what really built my channel. And that's why I was like, so excited for BO6 because everybody that plays, everybody that played B or Cold War that really religiously loved it, that loved my channel, we're Treyarch stands. Like we love Treyarch. We love their games. And like I said, Treyarch is what built my channel. So I can't blame Treyarch for Ricochet's shortcomings. It's not Treyarch's fault that I'm banned. It's really not. It, it comes down to Ricochet and Activision. They need to figure it out because I, I'm not trying to upload Cold War every day while the Black Ops 6 beta, the brand new premium Call of Duty title is out. I'm not trying to do it. I will if I have to, but again, I can't even play Modern Warfare 3. I can't even play Modern Warfare 3. It's just a joke. If you ask me, it's a joke. Something needs to be done about the shadow ban system. They need to remove it until they have a better grasp on how to fix it. That's the simple short, simple story. Don't implement something if it doesn't work. It hasn't worked since Modern Warfare 2019. So I want you guys to go down in the comment section if you guys have experienced this false ban system or if you guys have been shadow banned in Call of Duty because 
I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to draw attention to this so they can understand what everybody is going through. Cause we shouldn't have to pay. You know, I paid for the vault edition of the game. I shouldn't have to pay a hundred dollars to not play my game. I mean, that just sounds like common sense to me. Other people may feel differently, but in my opinion, it is just common sense that if I pay for a game, I shouldn't be getting falsely banned for just having a good game. I mean, it's quite literally, I got my nuke and I was banned. All I want to do is play the game. Omni movement's sick. I give Treyarch so much credit. The maps are pretty good, but they got to figure it out. Simple. They got to figure it out. There's no excuse for this. People shouldn't be paying money. I shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't be pushing bundles to me and trying to basically not steal my money, but get my personal hard earned money out of me. If their game is not in a state worthy of me playing it. I don't know how they fix it, but I think the, 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 what really should happen here is they need to remove it. They need to remove the shadow ban system until they are fully confident that it is properly working. That's the only way that system works. I understand the thought process behind it is, you know, if somebody's cheating and you're kind of like giving them like, okay, figure it out. No more cheating. We're putting you in a shadow ban lobby. So you get the idea that it's not, it's not okay. It's not okay. If you guys have any recommendations, so I'm going to send this video over to the people I know at Activision, at Treyarch, at Infinity Ward, at Sledgehammer, everybody that I can personally get a hold of, I'm gonna send this to them. And if you guys have any ideas to make the system better, you let me know. And like I said, I'm going to send that to them. So hopefully they read the comment section and they see other people's complaints. They understand what everybody's going through. I feel like they need to grasp how many people this is affecting. Cause I think that is the thing. They don't truly understand how many people are affected by their silly shadow ban system. I tell you what, I have 104 kills, but I don't think I'm winning this game. You guys see me, I'm going to B flag and stuff. I don't know if anything's saving this game. I'm kind of out of topics here. Oh my God, you're going for the wall bangs on me? Really? I'm so sad. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be sitting here with the new Call of Duty out trying to just play the game, man. I never thought in my wildest dreams that this would be a thing, but I guess with this being said, if you guys want to see more Cold War videos, now would be the time to tell me. Now would be the time to tell me because I'll put out more videos. Well, looks like this video is ending on an L because I'm not double taking this, man. There's so much that I already said. I don't think I need to say anything else. Disappointing that you guys are seeing my first Cold War video back on an L, but at the end of the day, it was more of the point of talking it through with you guys.